Hey everybody, Tom from Tom's Randomness. I hope you are doing well. Um, the anticipation is killing me. I really wanted to make the $300 mystery bag in between um, the wheat scent bags, but after finding that 1909S, I just cannot wait to get into this $12 bag. It's like $12.18. Um, this bag was the remainder of what they had in their bin. Um, they actually just take all these wheat cents in from all their stores. They put them in a bin and then they weigh them out into $10 bags. Uh, but this was what was left over. They didn't know if they had enough to make a bag. They had a little bit extra, so I just said, I'll just take them. And um, so I am going to, uh, without further ado, jump into this bag and see if we can get more value than $12 you paid for it, but also see if we can find any more of them awesome, awesome finds, such as like Indian head scents, uh, Flying Eagle scent, or a 1909 SVDB. I mean, that's that's really what we're after, right? Uh, the 22 no D, the 24 D, um, uh, 31 S or D, one of those. Anyway, I'm gonna get these all sorted out. I'll bring you back kind of in the end with the conclusion and the results. And uh, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing uh, because I'm going to try my best to put out a couple of these videos every week um, going forward. Uh, coin collecting is, is one of my favorite hobbies and, um, you know, with something such as wheat scents, if you can't like afford the gold and the crazy Morgans and all that stuff, wheat scents can be an extremely affordable option and you can get some great value out of some of these coins. Like I said in my previous video, I actually found a 1910S uncirculated that I had sent in to, um, PCGS and it ended up being like a hundred dollar or hundred more than a hundred dollar penny as well so you can find so many different things in pennies and uh, a good resource for that obviously is if you get one of the coin books uh, world or United States coin books you know I have the 2023 edition but any of them will give you kind of an idea uh, but also the albums will tell you you know low mintages and such uh, but there are errors or varieties there's so many things you can find I found a, a, a restruck coin it was struck and then struck again off center so that's probably worth some money um, I've actually got three or four coins in my collection right now that I have to send in and all of them I found either through mystery coin grab bags off the internet or these wheat scent um, mystery bags from my local coin store. So it's very exciting and if you can't kind of tell I want to get into this bag so I'm going to do that and again um, I will bring you back at the end with the results. All right, got through all these. Took a long time because there's some fantastic finds in here again. I'm actually a little bit beside myself because this is back-to-back -back home runs in my opinion. Um, there's our 40 pile to the left, our 40 or our 50 pile to the right. Here are all of our 19 teens. There's a 19, I think that was a 1912 there. Yeah, 1912, a 1918S, a bunch of 1918s, 1919s, 1920S. I don't know why I put it there instead of here with its other 20s, there's a 29S, 26, 25, oh, what's that? A 24S, huh, and a very nice one. Um, we got our 30s pile here. We do have a couple of mint markers in there, and that one right there is phenomenal. 38 Denver, 39 Denver. And then um, over here's our unks, and these are awesome. Um, AU uncirculated. I don't know what they'd actually grade, but they're pretty pretty close. I'd say to uncirculated. And that 41 is something I've just I just I'm a I love that coin. <laughs> Definitely going in my collection. And then the reason I'm shaking those are 36s. Now I have to check all those for the double dive verse because they do look. If you look at the one there, well, where's it at? I don't know where I put the the one that I thought was normal. They're kind of got a thicker date, and then that one's kind of thinner. It's hard to see, and I'm sorry if I'm shaking. This is bad quality, I know. I don't know if the, any of those are 36 double dies. Uh, the date is doubled, and it makes them look thicker. I'm not sure if those are. I just set them aside to, to find out. But then we got a couple of Indian head scents. That one there looks like it was in jewelry. And we've also got another one there. It's pretty decent. Uh, worn out, of course, but uh, a couple 46 or 43S uh, Zinkins. Or not Zinkins. Uh, steel scents. <laughs> We got this terrible Indian head. He he was dug up, but he's a 19, 
06. Get a lot of corrosion. And we got this 1909. And I believe it's a 1909S again. And I will take my time with this and show you a better close up. I'll take some real close pictures and I'll insert them here. But um, let me get the values here figured out and I'll come right back. All right. Well, you saw the overview and now the brass tax. Well, I guess copper tax <laughs> and some steel. Um, we did find some really good variety this time. The 1909 did not end up being a 1909S, which would have been awesome because I would probably give it a $20 value if it was even in that shape. Uh, but it ended up being just a plain Jane, no VDB 1909. And uh, with that, I gave it a $1 value. It has really good detail and would be a great book filler if you went and conserved it a little bit just to stop the corrosion. Um, but yeah, so we had two decent Indian heads. We had an 1899 in 1896 uh, those I gave a three dollar value for both uh, in our teens pile we had four dollars and fifty cents worth in our 20s pile granted we had that nice 20s and that 24s which could bring that value up a lot higher I just gave it a you know very conservative value sixteen dollars our 30s pile we had that nice uncirculated 39 uh, and then we had a 38 um, uh, Denver so we had some really really strong coins in our 30s pile which gave it a value of three dollars our uncirculated pile i gave a value of three dollars but some of those coins probably are worth three dollars by themselves i'm just being conservative because i'd rather not overestimate these values uh our 40s and 50s pile for the combined pile i gave it a total of five dollars so grand total uh we spent twelve dollars and 18 cents for this bag again it was just what was left at the coin store in the bucket and we got a value of 35.50 and that's super conservative I feel like some of these coins could probably be worth, you know, 10, 10 to 15 bucks by themselves. Anyway, if you like this type of video, my goal is to put out more content like this. Um, I love coins. I absolutely love the process of trying to find specific coins in this, you know, atmosphere or what, I don't know what you want to call it, um, where it's a mystery. You never know what you're going to get. And I have found some absolute awesome coins doing this like the 1909s uh but also i found the 1914 uh, no oh, i don't know 1922 denver that was another one that i found that was was a you know high high hit um, but I found 1910s is that that the 1910s I found graded uh, MS64 red brown and it was worth like a hundred bucks. So I mean you can literally do this. Go to your local coin store, ask for their, you know, bulk wheat cents. Go through them. Uh, if they give you a fair price, I don't exactly know how much my coin store charges. I should probably do the math, but I know they they go by weight and I think I want to say it's it's like six or something cents or five or ten cents i don't know but either way it's always a good value for me because i find awesome coins almost every time um for them it doesn't make sense i guess to sort through all these and um the t or the t or they don't have the time but it works out awesome for everybody else um that gets the opportunity to go through them i know there are i have competition in in this town um there are other people who do the same thing i do and cherry pick um you know through uh they actually have they offer um, bulk silver coins that are unsearched as well as um wheat cents and stuff um so you can get like a similar bag in uh constitutional silver and go through it find some really cool stuff um and i know my buddy who does that has found some really really nice franklins and walkers uh in those bags so um either way whatever your budget can tolerate uh it's a great way and a fun way to start collecting coins or to continue collecting coins at a much cheaper price than if you were to go to eBay. Like for example, if I went to eBay, I'd have to pay full price for these coins. So I'm able to pick them out. You know, it takes time, it takes effort, but it's worth it and it's so much fun. So with that said, gold luck, God bless. I hope you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't and I'll see you all in the next one.